Well, hello again, all my YouTube subscribers and browsers. Welcome back once more to my world of classic dirt bikes. Now, in this clip, I thought we would take a look at another rare but iconic British classic, the mighty Clues Stroka. Now, the history of these fantastic British classics really began when the BSA Competition Department announced its closure in the early 1970s. Now, Alan Clues recognised the opportunity at this time for his own bike building venture and immediately bought around a dozen frames and other engine parts from the manufacturer whereby he then began building his very first batch of new motorcycles and was destined to call them Clues Strokas. Now these Clues Strokas of course were the very first machines that Alan Clues ever produced from his Bolton workshop and that was even before he ever registered the name CCM at a company's house. Now the very first Clues Stroker completed off the production line was delivered in 1972 with frame number B3 and used a BSA B50 motor. Now this very first Stroker machine was sold to Cumbrian racer Mike Barnes. Now Mike Barnes also went on to win several races on these bikes in 1972 and later the Clues company then displayed the 608cc bikes at the Bellevue Stadium in Manchester for the paltry sum of £595 each. Now in the early days of manufacturing Alan Clues was still not registered as a motorcycle manufacturer but as the months and weeks rolled on Alan Clues began selling more bikes than he could actually make and it was then that he took the decision to start his business proper and become a full-time bike builder. So in 1972 he registered his brand new bike manufacturing firm as CCM Clues Competition Machines. Now by the end of 1972, CCM had built and sold more than 40 motorcycles and were beginning to establish itself as having a reputation for quality, compatible machines. Perhaps even more of an achievement was the fact that as the British motorcycle industry at the time was collapsing, many people thought that uh, four-stroke bikes were obsolete in modern motocross. But of course along came this British manufacturer and put a British bike back at the forefront of off-road racing. Now during the glory years of the 1970s there were some really famous riders riding these machines for the CCM factory. Um, the legendary Bob Wright used to race these bikes along with Scotsman Jimmy Aird. And of course the also legendary Norman Barrow were all riders who raced these bikes for the Clues Competition Factory. Now this particular example is a bike I captured at the Nostalgia Scramble in Cumbria just a few years ago. I'm unsure as to who owned the bike but it's a very nice example of a Clues Stroka. Now our next example is the stunning Clues Stroker and is the property of Ian Ridley who has done a complete restoration on this 1972 608cc bike. Now in fact this particular machine was the last bike of six Clues Strokers ever made at the Bolton CCM factory. Now Ian doesn't race this bike and uh, it is usually only used as a display piece along with his other many restored BSA 
and CCM machines. Now this fully restored 1972 machine as you can see has been restored to the very highest order and Ian has made sure that every nut, bolt and fastener on this bike is 100% authentic. Now, as you would expect, Ian has also won many awards for these pieces of classic dirt bike history and uh, this particular bike can be seen at any of the classic motorcycle shows throughout the UK in 2019. Now, as part of his British bike collection, only recently Ian had in his possession Austin Clues's old schoolboy CCM scrambler from the 1970s. Now this was a piece of motorcycle history in its own right, although that bike has now been sold back to Austin and then been fully restored by Rod Spry back to as brand new condition. So in the future I hope to feature that particular bike on my YouTube channel in the coming months. Although in this particular example, uh, as you can see, everything is as it was from the Bolton factory in 1972. Ian has made sure that every nut and bolt is exactly the same as when the bike left Alan Clues's workshop in 1972. Now I assume that many of my YouTube viewers looking at this beautiful machine will be thinking that maybe this bike should not be put on display and should be put back on the racetrack where it belongs. You may be right but uh, like as I said earlier this is just one of the many machines Ian has in his collection and Ian races other CCMs and BSA machines from his collection on the racetrack on a regular basis. Now these particular video clips were taken at a Scottish Classic Scramble event at uh, Lockerbie in 2018. Ian very kindly brought the machine along for me to uh, grab some of this uh, video and take a few pictures of this absolutely stunning machine. Now when it comes to actually seeing these bikes racing on the tracks there are not many examples of these lovely clues strokers actually racing on the tracks of the UK. Such is the rarity of these lovely machines. There is one rider in Cumbria who regularly races these clues strokers and we will be taking a look at his machine momentarily. But that's Ian Ridley's lovely restored 1972 clues stroker and I must say it's an absolutely immaculate machine. Now our final example of this fantastic Clues Stroker mark is this fine machine here which belongs to Keith Barnes. Now Keith Barnes of course is the son of the legendary CCM rider Mike Barnes and if you remember earlier I mentioned that Mike was the guy that bought the very first ever Clues Stroker machine off the production line. Now these pictures of Keith's lovely Clues Strokers uh, I captured at a local Scottish Classic Scramble event uh, a few years ago in the north of the country. Now Keith races, maintains and builds these Stroker machines and of course Keith is a self-confessed CCM fanatic and when he's not building these bikes or repairing them in his workshop Keith can easily be seen 
riding these out on the racetrack. Now, although these machines are essentially vintage off-road bikes from 1972, these machines are still very competitive in the modern day motocross tracks. Now, if you get the right rider aboard one of these fantastic machines, these bikes will take on anything on the racetrack, whether it be modern or vintage. And back in the day when CCM was in its heyday, it was of course Bob Wright racing a CCM was the man who brought home CCM's first ever victory back in 1973 at a local scramble event in Glastonbury in Somerset. That particular day, Bob Wright faced very stiff competition on the track to win that particular race and he was racing against uh, local legends including Badger Goss. Now as the years roll on these clues strokers are becoming rarer and rarer each year and it's thanks to the likes of uh, Keith Barnes and Ian Ridley and all the other bike builders who keep this fantastic clues stroker name alive. Now there's no startup for this particular bike in this uh, video clip but I think we could do one better by showing you some video of this bike in action with Keith aboard from 2012 at a Scottish Scramble event at Forfar.
This video was brought to you in association with Love Sport Motocross Race and Leisure Wear and also in association with VMX Magazine, the world's undisputed number one publication for all your vintage and classic dirt bike motorcycles.